Greetings once again, sluts of the world. Some seriously crazy shit's been happening, eh? That cruise liner fell over. Do you know, that might not have happened if he'd played Ship Simulator 2008. Because, you know, then he would have got practice in a realistic environment. So, you know, that wouldn't have happened. And there's actually a Titanic on that game, so you can actually simulate crashing. Uh, and then you'd know what not to do in that situation. But hey, Sopa didn't pass, your mum's been sent to Azkaban, and the snow in southern England didn't settle, so all is gold. All apart from one tiny little thing. A friend of mine thought it would be hilarious to, instead of getting me a conventional birthday gift, to get me fucking farming... F fucking farming fucking simulator 2000 and... Two th fucking... 2011, fucking farming simulator 2011. Now let me tell you, this has been a traumatic experience. They fucked up bad. I'm serious. They fucked up with this game in some ways that I didn't even realise you could fuck up in. As far as I'm aware, there is a professional that is assigned to making sure that the spine is the right way round. The spine on the cover of the game is the right way round. How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? Plus, a colleague of his, let's just call him Jerry, was assigned to picking pictures to go on the back of the cover to make people want to buy the game. As you can see, Jerry fucked up. Jerry fucked up bad. These are some of the most unappealing pictures I've ever seen. I'd rather shoot myself in the asshole than play this game. But since I've started this review, I can't turn back. Look at that! Look at that! It's it's a cow. It's just it's just it's just a cow. I know it's called Farming Simulator, but at least try and make it look fucking fun. And then when you look at the wait, <gasps> what? No longer is farming a solitary affair thanks to a unique multiplayer mode in which you can work on your farm together with your friends. Assuming you have any, considering you're buying Farming Simulator 2011, via an internet or local area network connection. There's multiplayer! No fucking way! Create a class, you've just unlocked the red dot site for your pitchfork. Sleight of hand, plow ten times faster. Oh, but this game lies to you. On the back of the cover, the last sentence is, Whatever your chosen playstyle, Farming Simulator 2011 lets you sow the seeds of agricultural accomplishment. No it doesn't, you're gonna accomplish nothing by wasting your fucking time on this piece of shit. Anyway, 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 anyway. Anyway, 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 let's go. Here's the menu. Nothing special really, but I am loving the music. It's like hillbilly jazz, it's magical. But the menu buttons are overlapping the tractor part of the image, which is for an unknown reason parked in a roundabout in some sort of modern built up suburban neighbourhood, clearly planning a sexual assault of some kind. And you can't see the tractor very well despite it being the key part of the image for a game called Farming Simulator. But well, one thing you can see is that there's a missions and a career mode. Have you ever seen both in the same game? Usually the bulk of the single player experience is labelled one of the two. This game uses both! Disappointingly, it turns out that the Korea is what it says on the tin. Not like Korea is in South Korea, North Korea. I mean Korea is in like business Korea, like diarrhea. And missions is like kind of spec ops. But Ship Simulator used the word missions, and they were shit. Spraying? Teach me how to spray. And what's this? Achievements? How modern of you to jump on the achievement whoring bandwagon, despite the fact that the monotonous, grindy simulators that you make are perhaps the most suited to the achievement whoring audience. I see you had a nice wave of creativity implementing a whopping 12 achievements to collect. 12 whole achievements. No achievement point system or anything to collect, just simply 12 shitty notifications to remind you that you're wasting your fucking life. <coughs> Grammar Nazi, engage. It's called Farming Dash Simulator 2011. Why is that dash necessary? The word simulator is on another line from farming. They aren't connected words, so why is the hyphen necessary? But also, when in-game, the hyphen isn't there. Why have both? At least stick with your mistake. Were you going for variety? Just keep it the damn same. Pew! Grammar Nazi, disengage. Like I said, nothing really special about the menu. Now, if you're anything like me... <laughs> Who are you kidding? You're nothing like me. You wanna be me. Anyway, your jealousy aside, I'm the sort of person who goes straight for the multiplayer when I get a game that has the option. When you join or create a multiplayer game lobby, you get the option to pick international, continental Europe, or just Deutschland, like, just Germany. It's like, do you wanna play with anyone, or do, do you specifically wanna play with Germans? Because a lot of people would only wanna play with Germans, so we're definitely gonna give you that option. To create a multiplayer game lobby, you have to store it in one of your only four available save game slots. Namely, the tractor tyre, the water canister tower things, is that, a, is that a paraffin canister? 
I think that's wheat or, or barley. Anyway, they couldn't just give them letters. They gave them these farming images. Makes it more fun for the kids. Then you choose your difficulty. Oh, what? Did you think it was going to be, you know, like competitive multiplayer? Like, you know, like fun multiplayer? <laughs> oh, no. No, no, you got it. You got it. You got it wrong. Then you choose your map. Uh, that one. Tough fucking choice. Oh, Sly Brother, you can download and create your own maps or whatever. Pre install them into the damn game. I don't want any farming simulator websites on my browsing history. It's scary enough as it is. Then you change other stuff, like, you know, what your internet connection is, how many players you're allowing, any mods, you're gonna... mods, like, farming hacks. But the annoying thing is, when you name the game and you're typing in the box, if you accidentally scroll with your mouse onto any of the other things to illuminate the buttons, then it stops you typing and you have to go up and click again. It's really annoying. Despite all this fancy setup, the game's the exact same in multiplayer, apart from you can work together on your farms. That's, that's the only difference. Now, the question that's been burning from within your asshole all this time, what is the actual fucking gameplay like? Now, apart from the Spec Ops-like missions, which are essentially just glorified tutorials, each game mode is the exact same. In the absence of prominent map variety, only one map is actually available. The majority of the game is played from a first-person perspective, you're role-playing some young, upcoming farmer. When you start the game, you're in an abandoned farm with a bunch of little symbols floating around that you can pick up, and they'll give you mini-tutorials. You start with two vehicles, a tractor and a combine harvester, but get this, you can buy more vehicles with the money you earn by playing. There's a shop! You know, with a shopkeeper. Let's just call him Jerry. Jerry sells you vehicles. The vehicles you drive have cruise controls at different speeds, i.e. by pressing the one key, you cruise at about 15 miles per hour. What this means is you don't have to drive yourself, it just does it for you. You're also supplied with a wide variety of glorified sex toys that you can clip onto the front of your vehicles in order to farm shit and perform other activities. Go out, sow some numbers, wait, farm some numbers, plow some numbers, put some numbers into your silos that can hold your numbers for you, and collect numbers to get nice big numbers. The reason I'm calling them numbers is that who could honestly, seriously, genuinely fucking actually give a shit about seeds and plants and crops, man! Who cares? Anyway, there's a road with cars that spawn that you can jump in front of. Great fun. Driving the tractor, it accelerates incredibly slowly. I've never actually driven a tractor myself, but I would presume that they start a little bit faster than this. When you've strapped on one of the sex toys, you can activate it and deactivate it with the R key. There's plowing, sowing, rock removing with a fucking bulldozer, spraying, cultivating, harvesting, rolling and transporting hay bales, and chopping corn. Chopping... corn. What you may notice is that they're all the fucking same. I know farmers have a wide variety of activities to pursue, but they all just seem to be attaching some sort of glorified sex toy to the back of a tractor and driving up and down each and every area of a massive field. You can't drive too far, so the attachments will disconnect, literally forcing you to do it slowly and agonizingly. There's a mechanic where you have to get all of your vehicles and sex toys under shelter if it rains for an unknown reason. I would have thought tractors were waterproof, but anyway. If you pause while your vehicle's still running, the noisy engine sounds remain when you're in the menus, which is really fucking annoying. So I have to pause to hit the quit button every time I want to quit, which is always. It says you plow the fields to loosen the soil. No, you don't. You plow them to aerate them to prevent anaerobic conditions, which would subsequently prevent nitrogen fixation by nitrobacter bacteria, thus reducing the abundance of ammonium ions in the soil for the synthesis of proteins for growth in your crops in order to get a better yield. Fuck! Everyone knows that! You're awarded medals for expedience on the missions, like silver, bronze, gold. Why? Like, take that, I got bronze on corn cutting. Well, I got silver on spraying. All in all, the game is pretentious. I mean, it's called Farming Simulator, so you think it's going to be boring, but then it presents to you a wide variety of activities that all seem to be the exact same. It boasts variety, but actually it's as monotonous as every other simulator game. I don't know whether it's trying to deceive you into thinking farming is fun, but it's doing a very shit job of it. The graphics aren't exactly bad, but they're not exactly good for 2011. They've added this mobile control system with WAS and D controls for walking and driving, and a jump system, but it's all pretty much pointless. You're not Lara Croft, you don't need to jump anywhere. Agility isn't exactly a priority here. It's not the worst simulator I've ever played, but it's not exactly the best. But then again, how good can simulator games get? Considering the prospective opportunities of making this an actually good simulator, I had much higher expectations and I was vastly disappointed. At the end of the day, out of 10, I would give Farming Simulator 2011... SUCCESS!